mentioned the state shift to a regional response system of Idaho's 44 counties. Nine are still without a confirmed COVID case. And as the local leaders will tell you, that means there's really no reason to slide them back from stage four. But Ada County, which continues to see daily totals of new cases well over 100, went back to stage three this week. And we're expected to stay there indefinitely, which means no more than 50 people can get together at a time and only if there's enough room to keep your social social distance. It also means most bars were told they had to close their doors for a second time, which a lot of you have pointed out. Why do bars have to close, but not places like gyms or churches that often have more than 50 people together at a time? As I said early on when people said, well, why would you open the churches and not the bars? I said, I, I've been at church at 8 in the morning and I've been in a bar a little later than that. And I can tell you the behavior in churches in the morning is a little different than it is in those. And I'm not. Just a little different, I guess, depends on the time, right? Also depends on your de denomination, though, right, Governor? It's that sentiment, though, that has bar owners across Ada County beside themselves six feet apart after seeing that tap rooms at some breweries are allowed to stay open while bars are forced to keep people out. This was the order that was the order from the Central Health District that went into effect yesterday and was supplemented by a health order from the city of Boise. Bar owners want to understand the distinction and determine if they could rearrange their setup somehow that would allow them to serve customers. Central District Health told Joe Paris their decisions rooted in data. We are set up for success as much as there can be success. <laughs> While bars across Ada County have been forced to close, Boise Brewing is still open and serving up beers. Earlier this week, though, it wasn't clear if they'd be able to. I mean, this has been kind of a crazy time for everybody, obviously, but over the course of two days, I think the position changed on whether we were able to open or not four times. Colin Rudin is president of Boise Brewing. He says getting a final answer wasn't easy. I was able to get a hold of the city of Boise and have a conversation with them because it seemed like there was some conflicting information about whether we could close or open. Um, so we, we were able to get the result we wanted. Across Ada County, bar owners say they think it's unfair that breweries, wineries, and distilleries can continue their business while bars have to close down. Them closing down Boise bars, that's fine, but they had no reason to close Meridian bars. Vicki Long owns the Whitewater Saloon in Meridian. She says having to close again while breweries are open is very unfair. It's wrong. What is the difference between them and my bar or anybody else's bar? There is none. There's not been one person in the Whitewater that's had it or any of my bartenders. That what we were seeing in our case investigations was that it was mainly these bar locations where they had these tight groups that were packed together and they were indicating an abundance of risk that was being expressed in those environments. Brandon Atkins with Central District Health says they never want to close businesses, but the data showed a big difference between bars and other businesses. When people were calling in, it wasn't the wineries or the distilleries that people were mentioning as the points of location. So ultimately, while they're very similar in what they deliver, they are they operate in different contexts and we were seeing that wineries and this distilleries tend to generate more like a restaurant an example of that type of setup is at boise brewing you come to the door and you wait to be seated we don't have any chairs at the actual bar top itself and then it's you know tables that are spread far apart long doesn't have that option at the whitewater saloon so for now it'll stay closed but the reality of her situation is very tough my husband has liver cancer. I have to deal with this stuff every day. I ha somebody has to have. I have to have that business to pay our bills. Last time, her solution was to open up ahead of schedule to generate some business. She was soon visited, though, by the state. This time, she'll go a different route. They find it twenty-five hundred dollars for opening up early. After fourteen days, I'm getting my lawyer, and we're going to see what we can do about this and all the rest of the bars that I have to close too. Back at Boise Brewing, they're confident in their COVID protocols. As a brewery, we're set up for sanitation already. It's it's our life as far as making beer. We already, before the, the pandemic was here, we even had cleaning chemicals that listed coronavirus as one of the things that they kill. Central District Health hopes that everyone will take COVID guidance seriously so businesses like bars can open sooner. All of these businesses that have these communal settings are at risk if we have populations who are unwilling to help them. So let's do our part.
Okay, so Joe Paris, Boise, which seems to be the center of this cluster of madness right now. Can you explain what's going on with the Boise health order? There's a little bit of confusion with this. Yeah, I got some clarification from the city this afternoon, Brian, and they're telling me now that breweries can be open, wineries can be open, distilleries can be open. What they are keeping closed, though, are bars as well as bike bars. You might have seen those in the downtown area. Uh, Brian, there's a lot of confusion across the county right now with the different orders. The point is, though, here in Boise, in Ada County, the bars are closed for now. And every city can kind of make their own rules accordingly is kind of how it plays out. Is that is that true? Yeah, and the governor, uh, he really touched on that earlier today, where it's going to be more of these local decisions like we saw here in Ada County. Again, Central District Health rolling Ada County back to phase three. That kicked in yesterday. We might see more of that around the state, Brian. And really, if you think back to the beginning of the pandemic in Blaine County, they had regulations in their part of the state that we did not have in other parts. It's really the same thing, just applied differently. Yeah, they really kind of cracked down a lot sooner than everybody else. All right, thank you, Joe.